Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for April. I hope everybody is doing well. I do want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Capricorn out there. So do take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the monthly readings can be predictive in nature. So if these events aren't occurring right now, they could occur in the next few weeks. Depends upon what timeline you're on. But as always, Capricorn, please don't try to force yourself into a reading. That's just simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Capricorn? What would you like Capricorn to know for April? All right, the hang man. Okay, so you're waiting about something here. You're kind of on pause. Let's see what's crossing that. What's crossing this? The Three of Cups. So there could be a reunion that is um, you're waiting for, or it could be dating, um, could be going out with friends. There's something here you're waiting on. I do feel like you are um, you are starting to feel a little bit of joy here, which is good, because um, I feel like for some reason you weren't. Oh, there's an offer of love in the past, but you're waiting. You're waiting. Okay, let's see why all this is happening. The Three of Swords reversed. So you're healing. Yeah, you're healing. You're healing possibly from a third party situation. You have an offer of love here in the past, the recent past, but you're kind of waiting. You might be waiting to see, are you going to reconcile with this other person? Or you may just be healing your energy. Let's see what's on your mind, Capricorn. The Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, you may be feeling like you don't need to take any action right now. There's somebody here that you may not be speaking with as well. But I feel like you're just kind of holding back. You're not taking action. You're not communicating. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Now, this is in your um, coming April energy. Yeah, so that's interesting. So there could be somebody that, that is trying to come back into your energy. And you may be waiting. It's, it may be that you know this person is coming back in. Um, you may be revisiting another situation. You're not really taking action on this. But there's something to do with a an offer of love. So let's see how you're showing up. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're you're looking for emotional fulfillment. Let's see the energy coming towards you. Show me the energy coming towards Capricorn. The Two of Swords in the reverse. So this is somebody who may have chosen to go in another direction. Um, yeah, Four of Cups. Spirit is saying um, that there's a sense of boredom here. There's a sense of, it's almost like an impasse. Like there's, because um, we have two people who kind of have their back to each other. There's discontentment here. Um there's something to do with stability, but I, I feel like um, I feel like you're not satisfied with this person. So let we'll clarify that. Let's see your outcome at the end of April. Show me the outcome at the end of April. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Interesting. So there's a bit of confusion here. I feel like you've got somebody coming back from your past. And it's going to cause some confusion here. So bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups reversed. This is a underlying energy and it shows me that somebody really drained you. There was an ending here and somebody has really drained you down. Some of you may have two love offers. You may have a love offer from somebody new or 
some of you also have this person from the past coming back in. So let's clarify. Spirit wise, the, the hangman here. I feel like you're kind of on pause. You're you're thinking, I don't need to do anything right now. I need to just kind of be on pause. Yeah. So the confusion is clearing up. And it's going to clear up because you are putting things on pause. Because you're just kind of hanging out. You're just waiting. A lot of you could be spending time with friends. Or you could even be dating. Yeah. You made a choice to move forward here. You're very clear that, that you know, you want peace in your life. You don't want any chaos. And so I feel like a lot of you are, are moving forward. Um, why is the Knight of Cups here? Seven of Wands Reverse. So you could have received advice from somebody um, regarding this love offer. I don't feel like you're you're taking this advice. You definitely don't want to fight with anybody. I can see that clearly. Um, show me. Okay. Yeah, and this is about love. Three of Swords Reverse. Somebody that puts you through a lot of pain. You could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with water that's prominent in their chart. That would be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But I feel like you're kind of watching and waiting. There is love here, but there's also been a lot of pain. And you just want to move away from that pain. You want to you want to move towards something more peaceful, something happier. Um, why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? You may feel like this person is a player. I feel like you got somebody from the past that's coming back in. You think that they're a player, but yet there's unfinished business with the world in reverse. There's unfinished business here. Things are not over, but you, you're you kind of keeping silent. You're keeping quiet. You're not really saying a lot. You could have friends that are telling you, hey, you know, this isn't a good idea. Um, let's, let's look at April. Spirit, show me April for Capricorn. Whatever the confusion that has been here is clearing up. And if somebody chose to go in another direction, I feel like they're they're regretting that now. It's like this person just threw away something that was so beautiful and, you know, really a, a wonderful opportunity with you. And now they're they're popping back up. Show me April for Capricorn. Thank you. All right. We have the Queen of Pentacles. No, thank you. We have the Four of Wands reversed. Page of Pentacles. There's that offer. Three of Coins. The Hierophant reversed. The Empress Nice, good energy there. Um, eight of coins. Nine of coins, beautiful. There's a progression that's happening. Knight of cups, there's this knight of cups from the past. That's the past showing up. Ace of swords. And the knight of swords in the reverse. Okay, so I see you going into the month of April and there's somebody that is walking back or backtracking. Somebody who walked away from this connection, they chose to move in another direction. Now you're in this, in the first week I see you, you know, really in this self-care type of energy. I see you really thinking about yourself, your home, your children, if you have children. You're really focused on self-care. You're focused on your job. You might be really working hard right now um, because there's been an ending here with the Four of Wands Reverse. Um, this was an ending of a marriage or a long-term relationship. Um, there is an offer that is coming in in that first week. It's something small. Now, it could be communication or it could be some sort of small offer. It is a, a page, though, so it's somebody who, it's either a very small offer or it's, or it's a, 
maybe an immature person. Um, in the second week, I see you moving into some sort of a contract. It could be financially. Now, for a lot of you, this is money. Um, you may have ended something here that, you know, you worked very hard at, but it just wasn't taking you where you wanted it to go. And you're taking something, a, another job offer. It's going to be lucrative and you may be signing a contract and ending a relationship at work. If that's the case, guys, you're going to be doing very well. It's going to lead you into a lot more money. It's going to progressively get better. And I feel like you're going to love this, this position here. Um, so if this is financial or job related, go for it. Because whatever this offer is, I do feel like you're, it's going to be very good for you financially. Now, with regard to, you know, relationship, I do see you receiving an offer from somebody who walked away from this connection. They ended the connection. It could be communication. And I see you kind of being in this Empress energy. You're kind of sitting back. You know your value. You know your worth. And you're kind of in a receiving mode. You're not really doing anything. You're certainly not chasing after this person. You're just in this receiving mode, which is this pause that I'm seeing here. This pause is what's bringing you the clarity that you're seeking. It's helping you to move away from this chaotic situation. This person is wanting to now put some work into the connection, but I feel like you're very focused on yourself and your, your job. You've worked a lot on yourself, and as a result, you have progressively gone into a higher spiritual um, connection. You've, you've really learned your value and self-worth self after this ending, and you're not really focusing on them. You're focusing on you. So this small offer is going to, it's going to grow. It's going to get bigger. Um, I'm also seeing that for some of you in the, and I see you being very single here as well. In the third week, I see you being very single. Um, but your money is looking good. You're working hard and you're in this Empress energy. So it's a, it's a strong energy. It's an independent energy and it all occurred because there was a foundation that ended. Um, so you refocused yourself in order to gain clarity. Now, I do see a love offer coming your way. This will be in the fourth week. And I do see that it's going to come through communication. Um, some of you, this is a, a new person, but others, it's it's this person from the past. I see a very important conversation happening um, that is going to bring that love offer in in that fourth week. However, with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, there could be an argument that occurs. For some reason, I'm seeing an argument occurring um, with this past person in particular, or perhaps even the new person, because there's something here that's not being said. There's something that's being kept quiet, either by you or by the other person. Um, and you're going to have clarity on it, though. You will be very clear about it. So I'm wondering if this person from the past is coming back in, but they have an ulterior reason for doing so. And if so, it's going to become clear to you. Now let's look at the Ten of Cups. This is how you're showing up in this reading. I can see that you want emotional fulfillment. You want to be in a loving and kind relationship. So, yeah, we have the Hermit reversed. We have the Seven of, oh, I'm sorry, Eight of Swords. And we have the Moon in reverse. Yeah, so somebody is going to approach you. Somebody that you haven't talked to for a while. You've been doing a lot of thinking about this person. You've been looking at the situation. Um, you're, you're getting clarity in this pause. But I do see communication from someone from your past that you haven't been speaking with. They're bouncing back in. It's going to cause you to be up in your head and worried. But there's something that's going to be revealed to you by the end of the month. So... You're, in the meantime, working on your own prosperity and your own um, happiness. 
Okay, so the person coming towards you has the Two of Swords reversed. Yeah, look at that. I don't like that. All right, so Ten of Wands reversed, Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Wands reversed. So this is somebody coming towards you from your past, okay? This person chose to go in another direction. They walked away from this connection. Now they're coming in and they're saying, hey, Capricorn, I want to work these problems out. But there's deception in their energy, and you're going to find out whatever it is. You're going to get clarity on it. There's there's clarity coming about this love offer from this past person. And what it what they're hiding, what they're being deceptive about, is the person that they chose to move towards has dumped them. They're, they're at odds. They're no longer with that person. So they made a mistake. They know they made a mistake, but they're not telling you that. They're coming through with, you know, this deceptive energy. They're trying to make it look like they're cho they chose you all along. Maybe they made some mistakes. They Let's work this out, Capricorn. But there's deception. And the real thing is, is that the person that they chose to go with, the third party, that third party has dumped them. All right, so let's see. We have the Four of Cups. This is in Spirit's Advice. All right, the Lovers. Five of Cups reversed. And the Star card. And it's pretty much the same message, Capricorn. Somebody who has ignored you, you've kind of been ignoring them. It caused discomfort for you. It caused unhappiness for you. Um, this is somebody who had a choice. And Spirit is saying this person had a choice in love. They now regret what they did. There's regret here. And they're hoping to come back into your energy. Wow. Um, I'm also seeing that you have a choice for some of you and you may be opening your heart back up to love and you're you're more hopeful now that love can come into your life. Um, so there's uh, if you have a choice or someone here you should not ignore. I don't feel like it's this past person because they're coming in with deceit and there's you you have choices here um, but you're very focused on this missed opportunity. This is why you're on pause. You're not you're not taking action right now because you do feel that there's unfinished business, but this person has been a player. And I think that in your heart of hearts you know it. So let's look at let's look at your outcome. We have the seven of cups reversed. Why? It's gonna cause confusion, but I do feel like that confusion is going to clear up. There's something here that's deceptive. All right, Eight of Wands reversed. And there it is, that King of Swords reversed. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be. And Three of Cups reversed. Yeah, so you're going to get clarity on the situation. You're going to figure out that this person is deceptive, that they're lying. Um, the King of Swords in reverse is not a very honest person. They're, they lie. They, they, um, <laughs> they communicate untruthfully, Knight of Swords. And so I do see that you're going to get clarity on that, that there's something deceptive here. We see it in the energy of them coming towards you. And I do feel that, you know, they're trying to say there's there's no more third party. I blocked that person. They're no longer in my life. But what they're not telling you is that that person is either still in their life, but, you know, they're having trouble with that person or, you know, that person dumped them. It didn't work out. And now they're trying to come back in. I do think that you're going to discover this. You're going to get clarity on it. You're not going to be happy with the, the situation. And I see you blocking this person, blocking the dishonesty, blocking this person. And I, I feel like you're not going to be happy about it, but you are going to get clarity. It's like a part of you is still holding on to this past person. You want to resolve the problems. You want to You want to work things out with them. But you're going to realize that they're not coming in with the best of energy. All right, so bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. Now, that is underlying energy, and it tells me, Capricorn, 
that this, this ending here with this person has caused you a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of upset. I feel like especially at night, you tend to think on it. During the day, you, you're pouring yourself into work pursuits and money, and you can kind of, you know, keep everything in its box. But at night in particular, I think it's harder for you. And I do feel that, you know, this this person popping back in is going to cause a lot of worry and anxiety as well. So just be careful. I mean, everybody has to make the choice that they feel is best for them. But just know that this person's not being truthful. Let's see what kind of an oracle card comes out for you. And I think you suspect this anyway. This is why you're kind of suspending any action. This is why you're you're just kind of hanging out. You're just kind of waiting until this confusion clears. And it is going to clear. All right. So we have threefold protection. I like the sound of that because I, I like the sound that Capricorn is being protected in this situation. Let's read that. All right, it says, when this card comes to you, there is no mistaking the energy around you right now. There is a strong force of protection with you with three times the power of other forms. And this protection will take place over a threefold period of time. Three days, three weeks, three months, three years. There are three situations in which you will be cared for where unexpected angels will turn up and what could have been harmful will fall away, bringing no menace at all. The beings about you who are protective may seem gentle and even delicate in their form, but have no doubt that they wield powerful energy. Just as this mermaid with her trident guards the realms of the Kitsune and all who dwell within, your own boundaries and borders will be protected. You will no longer let those who seek only to make use of what it is you can do for them. There will be a cessation of the unkind talk that rises from within. And emotionally, in time, you will begin to feel more and more content with a calm and centered self that no longer is tempted to fall into the pain of the past. You will have allies come to you. Small kindnesses will be done that reassure you. And you will know exactly where you need to go and where you need to avoid. Rising up before you now is this mermaid. Her oceanic energy strong, her senses alive with vigilance, and her whole being focused on your safety. She stands as a guardian of the seas of the Kitsune realm, and likewise, you too will be protected. Feel the strength about you now and step forward into your life, feeling this trifold safety all about you. That's absolutely beautiful, Capricorn. I love that for you. So just know that as you go through this situation, you're going to get clarity and you are so protected. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.